Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News and it's Saturday, November 25th, 2023. And here's your news roundup. Thank you for joining me. Please like, share, and subscribe. Rioting continues there in Dublin, Ireland uh, because of evidently five people who were stabbed. Three of them children, one of them in critical condition. Riots broke out about their immigration policies. Um, they're blaming it on the far right over there. And they said that they're going to continue the heightened security uh, through tomorrow, November 26. What's next for the Snake River there in Idaho? Unprecedented invasion muscle treatment. They treated about six miles of waterway there. And expect, as expected, the treatment also killed most fish in the area. Idaho Fish and Game recovered over 3,000 dead fish from that stretch of the river. And weighing up to six to seven tons um, because of the dead, of the dead fish. Um, they are thinking about not restock, restocking sturgeon um, until they figure out if they need to um, put more copper in the water, um, a toxic mix of copper that killed off everything. Starting next year too, there in Idaho, you're no longer going to be going out and collecting shedded antlers. Uh, they say that when people go out and collect the antlers that the deer lose, um, it disturbs yeah, the elk and the deer. So starting next year, you're not going to be allowed to do that anymore. In health news, Britain becomes the first country to approve gene therapy treatment for sickle cell anemia, uh, that disease there. Uh, gene splicing is what it's going to involve. There in China, the WHO made a formal request to get more information about the respiratory illness and pneumonia that seems to be uh, spreading within their country. And just like uh, the last virus, I guess they're calling this the Wu flu, um, they're not being cooperative about information of what it is and where it's spreading and things like that. There in Los Angeles, El Mago, um, a drug trafficker linked to the son of Sonola cartel kingpin El Chapo, was gunned down, found dead um, in Los Angeles near a warehouse area. In Auckland, New Zealand, evidently um, some man is glad that he wasn't arrested after he placed a thief who was stealing beer from a store under citizen's arrest. Uh, the police told him to let the uh, criminal go. When he saw the criminal just trying to walk out with the uh, alcohol, he said he didn't think. He just reacted and tackled the guy and held him for about 10 to 15 minutes until police arrived. Yeah, people are getting up tight, getting upset, getting fed up with these snatch and grab robberies. Also from New Zealand, evidently there was a Christmas parade and a car there had some kind of malfunction with its motor or its brakes and it rolled into about three people. After that happened, um, pedestrians who were watching the parade, this, this car was part of the parade, uh, pulled the children and one adult from the car and assaulted them. A new report from USGS is saying that some of the earthquakes that happen um, along example, New Madrid and other places are actually aftershocks from the 1800s. I don't buy it, but that's what they're saying. High energy particles are currently impacting our Earth. Um, so much energy do they have. They're calling them the oh my god particles. Um, they evidently are coming from a place in space that they cannot identify. So I thought I would look up what effect these uh, particles would have on the Earth. And what I found was once they hit the Earth's at upper atmosphere, they would blast apart the nucleus of oxygen and nitrogen. And during that impact, the ionization of the thermal energy is utilized to produce a region of fall in temperature of the Earth, 
which may lead to sudden snowfall at higher altitudes and latitudes of the Earth. Montana schools get an unexpected bonus in funding from the coal industry. They received over $37 million in the last year from um, leases for um, government-owned lands there in Montana. Dogs are now coming down with an unusual respiratory illness in several states. They're warning um, veterinarians about this new virus. It's evidently an unusual virus. They're not quite sure of how the dogs are catching it, but it's been reported in Colorado, Oregon, and New Hampshire, and possibly California. There has been a boom in sea turtle nests there in Florida. They got a record-breaking 134,000 nests that have been located and documented and protected there in Florida. Record-breaking year. And there by the northern Mariana Islands, there was a magnitude 5.5 aftershock after the uh, reported 7.0 that occurred there yesterday. California State Appeals Court ruled that California can share gun owners' personal information with researchers, it was ruled. Um, originally, they said they couldn't share the information, but now they said that they can, seeing how it's for research to try and prevent violence. The information that they will share is your name, your phone number, your address, and any past criminal record you may have. I wonder if that would include traffic violations or jaywalking or littering. Criminals never claimed to be smart. In Benicia, California, police stopped a car with a handwritten license plate. It was discovered later that it had been stolen. I did not know this, but driverless cars are immune from traffic tickets there in California under current laws. I guess it's being reviewed. This would be uh, mostly for... Um, the driverless taxis that people can rent. They have to have a driver behind the wheel um, to actually give them a ticket. But if there's no driver and it's a taxi, well, who do you give the ticket to? And they So they don't give them out. The ex-police officer convicted in the George Floyd killing, uh, Derek Chauvin, was stabbed in prison, evidently. Must have been pretty serious. Um, they said they managed to uh, save his life and he had to be transported to a hospital. This uh, prison evidently um, has a high rate of violence. A lawsuit has been brought up against a Taco Bell there in San Pedro. Evidently, it was uh, a party there held back in 2022, a Christmas party, that turned into a night of debauchery. It was actual other employees that were engaged in sex and vandalism and all kinds of things. And um, the employee quit and is filing a lawsuit against the business. Now, Vega, Texas, DPS finds 45 pounds of meth, 5 pounds of fentanyl hidden inside of the tires of a SUV on Thanksgiving Day traffic stop. Uh, the person who owned the car, was driving the car, uh, was from Tijuana, Mexico. And I never had heard about this before. Skip lagging. What it is and what some airlines are cracking down on. It's a risky practice. It's where um, you have a stopover to a city that you actually want to go to. But a direct flight to that airport would be more expensive than... Uh, booking it for another location that made a stopover, let's say, New York City. But you're supposed to wait there in New York City and uh, travel on to a different de destination. But that would be more expensive if you just had a direct flight. So they call it skip lagging. New Jersey just passed a law that is going to require all new car sales be electric by... 
2035. And it doesn't make sense when the batteries will lose 40% of their power during cold weather, but that's what they're going to do. In Ohio, Huber Heights declared a state of emergency following a cyber attack that um, shut down their 911 Huber Heights Dispatch Center. Um, evidently, it was a hacker. I think they're testing our systems for some nefarious thing in the future that they could do. Maybe, say, in a time of war, some of these foreign hackers. They're saying that it was a ransomware attack. The Los Angeles Police Department is considering using AI to analyze body camera videos for officers' language use. They're also going to possibly be using it to find out when the police officers turn off their body cameras. Um, they were seeking to fire two officers in, gang, in the gang unit suspected of turning off their body cameras. So they're in Los Angeles. They're hoping that AI can help the LAPD review the body camera backlog. Long Beach, California, restore some service equipment with emergency powers. They were also hit with a hacker or hackers. Kansas um, Supreme Court was also hit by a international criminal organization for a hack. Yeah, we know times are tough. Um, food Bank in Alaska sees record demand and decline in donations amid the ho holiday season. There is over 100,000 people there in Alaska needing food assistance. This was a cute meme. It says, this guy cut me off, but I decided to let it slide. <laughs> and you notice the gun he's got on top of his Jeep there. Another cute meme uh, showing, looks like moose, driving off with their latest hunting trophy which happens to be the hunter tied down to the car roof. Pfizer sues Poland because it doesn't want to buy more you-know-what shots. Evidently, they had a contract, and now Poland says they don't want it, so they're going to sue the country of Poland. Um, evidently, the contract is worth $60 million. A new J6 footage showing Capitol Police shoving a magma grandma down the stairs and I'll let it that's her right there yeah it's at the very end of the video that was you can see her flying yeah lucky she didn't hit her head Pfizer also failed to disclose the risk of uh, preterm births and needle natal deaths to pregnant women during its testing the Epoch Times had an article about how Americans are cutting back on holiday food donations due to inflation. Um, spending is also um, being limited. People are sticking more to their budget, supposedly. Yeah, we know times are tough. Because the U.S. Army is having a hard time recruiting people, it is now asking soldiers dismissed for refusing the vaccine to come back. They're even offering up to $50,000 in bonuses if they'll come back. They're at the border of the United States. Um, the U.S. border agents have been told to use woke language. I don't know how they're going to identify them. says you can't call them Mr., Mrs., him, her, she, until they know exactly what they want to be identified as first. The United Nations aims to create an internet of trust, they call it, by targeting what it calls misinformation, disinformation, hate speech, and conspiracy theories. In its 59-page report released this month, the United or UN Educational, Cultural, and Scientific Organization outlined a series of concrete measures which must be implemented by all stakeholders, governments, regulatory authorities, civil societies, 
and the platform themselves. Many don't know about the four hidden kingdoms which is spoken of in the Bible to take control of the one world system. The four are education, religion, political, and economics, money. The U.S. government has twice exited UNESCO under the Reagan administration and the Trump administration due to concerns about what the administrations described as extremism, hostility to the American values, and other problems. Many of the policies called for by UNESCO have already been implemented by the U.S.-based digital platform, often at the beset of the Biden administration. The latest congressional report makes clear the Biden administration rejoined earlier this year over the objections of lawmakers. San Francisco Bay Area, its ports have become uh, a port city for pirates. They've been stealing boats and making raids on boats, just like pirates do. Uh, this is the deal between Hamas and Israel. Israel received uh, one girl who was five years old, and they released another woman to Hamas who was, 20, was 26 years old. Her crime was uh, she stabbed two Israeli citizens when she was 18 years old. Um, the Israeli girl, her crime was being Jewish. Did you hear about the $59 million wedding? It looked like something out of Disneyland. Um, evidently, they're assuming the father paid for the wedding. He sold uh, two dealerships that he owned there in Florida, one of them for over $700 million. And they put on this lavish wedding. Uh, it, it, was, it was amazing, just amazing. Yeah, um, I wonder how much just the flowers caught, cost. It evidently was raining, so he couldn't pay for uh, controlling the weather, evidently. Yeah, it did. It looked like something out of Disney. $59 million. I hope the marriage lasts. Another flub by Biden. He said in a speech, I cannot prove what I'm about to say, but Hamas attacked Israel because I was very close to bringing peace to the region. Taking credit. Another cute meme of a white cat and a snow cat. It says, seriously, who did this? Now, this is satire from the Babylon Bee. It says, archaeologists uncover cool whip containers pilgrims used, used to hold leftovers. Another post about the uh, prisoner exchange. Israel received a two-year-old girl. Her crime was for being Jewish. They released a woman who was 38 years old. Um, her crime was tried to detonate a car bomb in Israel in 2015. And I posted about a magnitude 3.1 earthquake that was north of Portland. Uh, and I went into details about the Portland Hills Fault. Many people probably don't know that. And there is a recall for uh, kids over-the-counter medication for problems that might cause vomiting and jaundice. Um, it's Kinder Med infants and kinder meds, children's um, fever and pain medication. The mother who waited to report her San Jose toddler was dead from fentanyl um, was arrested. She evidently said she wanted time for mourning before she notified the police that her child was found dead. Also from San Francisco, California, Bay Area. Um, three people found dead at BART stations in San Francisco and Oakland from drug overdose. Another meme about term lim limits showing our founding fathers. Should we add term limits? And they got, nah. It's not like anyone will get rich and want the job as a career. Supposedly, there's a sugar shortage. The world supply of sugar right now stands at 68 days. Compared to 2020, it had 106 days. 
Um, I was wondering how long it takes to grow and what's the growing season. Evidently, because of weather, there is now 2% less sugar globally, but yet the prices went up 50%. And they're blaming it on El Nino. Another article of a train derailment I never heard about, but evidently the residents of a Kentucky town can now return home after a derailment and fire has been extinguished. 200 people in Rock Castle County had to be evacuated because um, 16 cars carried molten sulfur. More states are planning on reducing your gun rights. And nothing about this story passes the smell test. I'm sure you heard about um, the car that was coming in from Canada there at Niagara Falls. The 300,000 Bentley, which crashed and exploded on Rainbow Bridge, may have experienced um, mechanical problems. This report was put out when, yeah, um, the melted car was still hot. So there's supposed to be a second swap, but in the first swap, Israel released 33 Palestinians from West Bank prison as part of a ceasefire deal. I believe they're going to have a ceasefire deal for four days. And this chem comes from Maine. Police body camera footage show a white-tailed deer found inside a Maine store on Thanksgiving. Yeah, he was... Totally freaking out and breaking everything. You can see here the display case broken. Um, dishes, plates, things like that broken on the floor. They're now saying that the people there in Iceland might not be able to go back to their homes for months. Um, it could erupt at any time. A undersea volcanic eruption created a new island. But they don't think it'll last very long. Um, for now at least. It's only a few feet above sea level and, yeah, it'll probably get washed away before it slowly builds up again. Another article from Los Angeles, California. L.A. gangster who shot and paralyzed a 16-year-old girl now works for California's Department of Public Safety after Gavin Newsom slashed his 162-year sentence to just eight years. Here's that article I put on my Patreon account. I also put it on Rumble. Uh, large earthquake magnitude 7.0 and swarm hits northern, northern Mariana Islands. Now here on Fox News, it says Hamas released 25 hostages, 13 Israelis, and 12 Thai nationals. None of them were from the U.S. Far worse than you can imagine how Iran's regime has spread its tentacles into Canada. They evidently have been tracking people who left Iran, are critical of Iran, tracking them down, threatening them, all kinds of stuff. And uh, they're not getting any help there in Canada. The real cost of EV battery plants subsidies $5 billion higher than the government estimated. This is for one plant there in Canada that builds batteries. Not making enough money, uh, but they got to be subsidized by the Canadian government. $5 billion higher than originally estimated. Ford scales back plans for a $3.5 billion battery plant as EV demand disappoints and labor costs rises. Here we have footage of the explosion at the U.S.-Canada border. According to the FBI, a car exploded on the bridge. The incident at that time was being investigated as an attempted terrorist attack. They now say it's not a terrorist attack and handed the investigation over to local police. After telling us for weeks to be on alert, then they put out this BS. No sign of terrorism in Rainbow Ridge bridge explosion, says New York Governor. The U.S. Navy warship Thomas Hudner spent Thanksgiving week down, weekend shooting down multiple one-way attack drones in the Red Sea that officials said were fired from Yemen. You might have heard about this. This is a Chinese most advanced uh, landing warship 
that was seen on fire. I don't know what ended up happening to it. Um, but it was called uh, the 980 whole number type 071 landing ship. Um, Lungs Hong Ham. Han? Yeah, it looked like it was pretty well engulfed. We got fire coming out from yeah, the front, the back, and the middle. Some images of Los Angeles, California. Bumper-to-bumper uh, -bumper traffic. Yeah, how would you like to do that commute? It's kind of pretty, though. <laughs> kind of Christmassy, festival -y. Yeah, can you believe that? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. They're in J um, Japan. They're going to set a new target for types of things to be recycled. This one will be disposable diapers. Um, because of all the elderly people, I guess um, adult diapers are getting to be a big problem for um, recycling. And that North Korean uh, spy satellite, I don't know what it really was. We already have two North Korean satellites that fly over the United States twice a day. But this latest one that they tried to put up in orbit evidently failed. They said it um, disappeared from radar. You probably didn't hear about this. A UFO that was hovering over an airport there in India shut it down for about four hours. JFK assassination doctors break silence, disputes key government claims about his assassination. We all know that, um, yeah, he was probably assassinated by our own government. I believe I was about 10 years old. Most schools at the time shut down when the word came in of his assassination. My school did not. Um, I remember walking home from school and some kid come running up saying how Kennedy had been assassinated, and I just couldn't believe it. I go, no, that's not true. And the closer I got to home, the more I realized, yeah, that it was true and how tragic it was. The country has not been the same since then. I think that was a turning point for our world, our government. Yeah. So this video will not be monetized. I'm going to put it on my other YouTube channel. Um, and I'm also going to put it on Rumble and I'll put it on my Patreon account. But if you can help support my work, yeah, thank you. Uh, many of you have. You bought me a cup of coffee or sent in a donation through my PayPal account or subscribed to my Patreon account. Thank you very much. And as always, please be pre prepared. Please stay safe. Keep your head on a swivel. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.